you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before Guys, welcome back to the channel or if you are brand new here and this is the very first time you ever see on my face what's up i am jen i share all things health and wellness here on the channel anything i do to level up my own life i share with you guys in hopes to inspire and motivate you to do the same so if that sounds like your jam make sure to subscribe before we jump into today's video all right guys we have another week's grocery haul and meal plan video coming at you guys i am just out knocking out some steps and wanted to go ahead and film this intro for you guys but this week we hit up target Aldi's, Walmart, and then Target again because we had a major debacle at Walmart. I don't normally like run into issues with the grocery drive up orders or anything like that at any of the stores. So I have been pretty lucky. It was crazy because I was waiting for them to send the notification that the order was ready for pickup and they never did. And then it was past the time it was supposed to be ready and they still hadn't messaged me. And then they said it was delayed after it should have already been picked up, which obviously, and it wasn't ready and I didn't pick it up until the following day, I believe, which like was whatever. But then once I got it, half the stuff was out of stock. And then the stuff that I did get, the syrup you'll see was like busted and leaking. And I didn't realize it when I was going over the groceries with you guys. But when I opened the Go-Gurts for the little guy to put them in the drawer in the fridge, like half of them were busted open. So I don't know what happened with this order. It was definitely a hot mess express, but we ended up making up and hitting up target again and getting everything that we needed so if you want to check out what we picked up this week to keep me trucking along on my health journey as well as feed my crew just keep watching target is up first this week because it'll be super quick only needed a few things from there if you guys caught my last vlog you know i'm like obsessed with these three bridges egg bites they are the spinach and bell pepper egg bites they are made with cage-free egg whites spinach bell peppers and a blend of creamy cheeses they're 220 calories 15 grams protein they cook 90 seconds in the microwave they taste delicious i just throw some of the turkey sausage with them to up the protein game first thing in the day absolutely awesome i actually ordered four of them but they only had two i still have a couple in the fridge so that should get me through the week but just getting back obviously didn't have time to meal prep so these are perfect option for in the morning time also picked up some of the applegate oven roasted turkey breast this has super killer macros and awesome ingredients 50 calories a serving 11 grams protein and the applegates always has awesome ingredients so i'm gonna be making some yummy sandwiches from felicia keithley this week also picked up some of the applegate uncured turkey pepperoni which are delish you guys know i love the shredded lettuce so i picked up a bag of that but i they also had some of this shredded green leaf lettuce and I figured I would give that a go as well so picked up a bag of that got some popcorn for the little guy of course some sliced baby bella mushrooms some zesty light italian dressing this is the light version it is 25 calories a serving one fat four carb and zero protein but i'm going to be throwing this on the sandwich i think that'll be delicious then i picked up some of the good and gather wild caught large raw shrimp they already have tail off peeled devein all the things for the convenience i like getting the wild caught shrimp from sam's but sam's was literally out of everything that i needed this week so just went ahead and grabbed these from target and then last but not least i got some of the barilla protein pasta it is 190 calories a serving, which is two ounces, one gram fat, 38 carbs, five fiber, and 10 grams protein. So those were the few things that we needed from Target. Now we'll jump into Aldi. So we'll go ahead and start with the most exciting thing that I found at Aldi's. I was just walking by and I saw this Fit and Active brand, which they carry a lot of stuff in in Aldi's. And these are vanilla cream bars in three different flavors, 20 calorie bars, no added sugar, fat free, 10 come in a box. 20 calories a bar how refreshing in the hot summer awesome for the kids too no added sugar so can't wait to try those i'll keep you guys posted on how those turn out got a big thing of the organic spring mix some bananas had to load up on a ton of produce because i cleared the entire fridge out before i went on the trip because the fam doesn't eat at home a lot and I knew the stuff would go bad. So now we are re-upping on all the produce. I got some asparagus, some yellow squash, some zucchini, 
couple of the English seedless cucumbers. Probably should have grabbed more than two. Got a watermelon. Picked up a couple things of strawberries, some blueberries. I wanted some of the little like cherub red tomatoes, but they only had one pack left and it was open and some had spilled out. So I went ahead and just grabbed this. I can cook these or throw them on a salad. So that will work out perfect. This was kind of a fail. I wanted just regular green grapes for the kids. These are the cotton candy ones. And this was like almost $8 for this bag. Definitely an epic fail. But I didn't see any of the regular green ones. And I just grabbed these because they like the green more than the red ones. Now I wish I would have just grabbed the red ones. But anyways, they'll eat them. So it's whatever. Went ahead and picked up some more of the Badia Complete Seasoning. Because I haven't had this in a while. You guys know I've been on a Kinder Seasoning kick. However, again, Sam's was out of everything I needed. And I wasn't just going to place an order for kinder seasoning so i went ahead and just grabbed a batia while i was in all these picked up a couple pounds of lean ground beef this is the 96 percent lean four percent fat which i'll be using for taco tuesday picked up a twin pack of the pork tenderloins that we'll be cooking in the crock pot grabbed a couple things of the mediterranean herb salmon because you guys know that is my jam got a bag of pink lady apples a bag of sweet potatoes and then a bag of regular russet baking potatoes and then this is not an order from aldi's but i ordered these before i left out of town and they came while i was gone i went like nuts on their new flavors and like all of the cashew butters and the couple that i've already opened and tried like this going bananas cashew butter and the Samo coconut cookie which is like the samoa's girl scout cookies both of those are fire this one i didn't order this one nicole gave me on our trip because she's the bomb.com and I've been out of them so I'm gonna slowly slowly work my way through that because who knows when that will come back perfectly next year but if you guys haven't tried any of the new flavors that just launched I definitely recommend the brown sugar and cinnamon pastry pop cashew butter this one was fire we tried this one on the trip super super bomb and all the rest of these are like my go-to's this one I haven't tried yet so I don't know about that but all the rest of them are good if you guys haven't tried their cashew butters definitely check the link out below it is a discount link and it will save you some money and you can go ahead and stock up on these babies because they are the bomb and I almost forgot to show you guys the most exciting thing that I got from Aldi's they had this boho hanging chair on clearance for $37 and they're normally way more than that so I snagged one up but once I hang it up and see how it looks and how it is I'll keep you guys posted okay so this Walmart debacle ended up being a mess as you already know and they were out of like a ton of stuff by the time that I got it. So this is gonna be a super quick haul. I grabbed a three pound bag of the Great Value Chicken Breast Tenderloins, picked up a bag of my absolute go-to favorite breakfast turkey patties, Great Value brand, absolutely love those. Got some go -Gurts for Little Guy as well as some bagels got a spaghetti squash picked up some of the joseph's lavish flatbread i got one of the honey wheat and one of the multi-grain picked up some more of the everyday great value plates this is the hundred pack this lasts us a while so i always snag these up of course some sugar-free sweet chili sauce i always have some backup of these but this is like now all of a sudden hubby's like favorite sauce ever so we're going through it a lot quicker and i always just like to make sure that we have a backup because they're out of stock often so went ahead and scored another one of those picked us up some of the extra calf k cups got the kids some of the chick-fil-a sauce also got them some syrup which is either busted or open or leaked or something it has syrup all over it, it was like all over the bag too hot mess express got little guys some smart food popcorn some lunchables and then some of the chocolate chip chewy granola bars and that will do it for walmart but because they were out of so much stuff i'm going to go ahead and place an order to target to pick up in the morning and i'll show you guys what else i get from there last up for this week is another target haul like i said just had to pick up the few things that walmart was out of and then the kids did have a couple requests that i went ahead and added on so we grabbed a bag of the black and tyson chicken strips which you guys know are like my go-to have to always keep those in the freezer that way if i ever need to throw something high protein and low calorie together really quick I always have an option ready to go got some more of the Purdue chicken plus for the little guy they are the chicken breasts and veggie dino nuggets that he absolutely loves got him some more of the little Kraft mac and cheese these are easy for him to make up so they're a great option I like getting the bigger pack from Sam's but literally Sam's has been out of every single thing that I have needed for like the last couple weeks so I haven't made an order to Sam's so I went ahead and just picked up two of these four packs from Target this I am super excited 
excited about. I have not tried the Quest barbecue chips. I didn't even know that they had this flavor, but I went to go grab some of the ranch, which you guys know is my jam and the hubby as well. And they had these barbecue ones and I love a barbecue chip. So I can't wait to try these. I'll keep you guys posted on how they are. Then the daughter requested some of these outshine fruit bars. This is the strawberry, lime and raspberry ones. The macros on these are pretty legit. 45 calories for one bar, 130 for three. And the daughter absolutely loves these and so do the little guy. And I can have those too, so it's a good option. I, however, I like the protein frozen Greek yogurt bars that I make with the protein powder. That way it's low calorie and you're getting a little protein in. But just for a quick on the go option, especially for the kiddos, these are awesome. Picked up some of the farm to family 93% lean ground turkey. And then I picked up some of the dark chocolate covered frozen blueberries. I used to haul these all the time. My daughter absolutely loves them. They are 90 calories a serving. She hasn't requested them in a while and she asked for some today so I went ahead and picked some of those up. Got four cans of the cut green beans. Again something else that I really like to get like the bigger cases from Sam's but they have been out so I just grabbed four for the week. Picked up a few of the Good Culture Cottage Cheese. They were out of the Simply Pineapple which is what I love to get. They just had these regular low fat ones so went ahead and grabbed three of those. And then picked up a pack of the Vanilla Quest Protein Shakes. They are 30 grams for one of these. We like to use these as creamer in our coffee in the morning time rather than just regular creamer. Get a little protein in there. You also could just add protein powder if you want. Picked up some reduced fat mozzarella cheese as well as some more of the turkey uncured pepperoni because I was having these for lunch and then I also need more for one night's dinner this week so I went ahead and picked up another one of those. And then last I picked up my daughter some of the vanilla almond special case cereal. She absolutely loves this. And then I got the little guy some of these Rice Krispies. However I can have these too. The macros are pretty legit on these and the ingredients are super minimal. Normally it's rice, sugar, can contains 2% less of salt and malt flavor. Normally the ingredients on cereal is literally like this whole thing. Super minimal ingredients, 150 calories a serving, which is one and a half cups, 40 grams. And you could add like protein powder to this and have like a protein cereal. So that's probably what I'm gonna try. My daughter can do that also and the little guy can just eat them regular. So that's a win for the whole family. So before we go ahead and jump into the meal plan, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my online order this week, which I'm like next level stoked excited about. I got some of the first form cake cups. I have not tried these yet. These are new but everybody has been raving about them so I'm super pumped to try them. I got the buttermilk maple pancake, blueberry muffin, and chocolate chip pancakes. It comes with six in each one of these. They have 18 grams per cake cup which is awesome. Probably throw some nut butter on them. You could do them for breakfast or a snack at night or whatever you want. Super awesome option super stoked to get that. And then of course I had to re-up on my Opti Greens 50 and my Opti Reds and I just finished my Opti Greens yesterday so this was absolutely perfect showing up today. And then of course my Full Mega which are my Omega 3s that I take every day. And then every time I place an order I always have to get more apparel for me and the hubby absolutely love their stuff so much. And I got this new sports bra like crop top little situation. How stinking cute is that? I'll have to show you guys when I put it on, but super cute. And that's it for this week's online order, so now we'll jump into the this meal. This week's meal plan is super easy. Starting off with Monday night, we're going to do baked buffalo chicken on a salad. Taco Tuesday, we are going to make the salsa taco meat from Felicia Keithley and throw that in some crunch wraps in the air fryer. Pair it with some sweet potato fries. Wednesday and Thursday are actually going to be swapped here. So Wednesday night, we're going to do the pizza stuffed spaghetti squash with a salad. And then Thursday night, we are going to do the salsa meat grilled cheese, kind of like a patty melt situation with some air fryer french fries. And then Friday, we are going to do crock pot garlic pork chops with mashed potatoes and a veg. And then Saturday and Sunday, of course, are always for leftovers so we can clear everything out, make Make room for the stuff that is upcoming for the next week as well as have as minimal food waste as possible. So that'll do it for this week's meal plan. As usual let me know down in the comments below some dinners that you have on repeat on your meal plan every single week that you are absolutely loving that are low calorie, high protein, all the things. That way everybody can benefit from it down in the comments. And if you guys enjoy these videos every week make sure to give me a thumbs up. That definitely helps me out. I appreciate you guys so very much. And if you're brand new make sure to subscribe before you leave and I will catch y'all in the next video. Yay.